When I first started learning about Chinese medicine, it was something completely new to me. It felt so alien and strange, and I couldn't wrap my head around the concepts related to our bodies and the environment we live in. For the past 12 years, I've been literally dissecting this medicine and other holistic therapies so I can explain the intricate details on how holistic therapies really work for our body to bring us back into balance. Join me today in today's message. Did you know that the foundation of virtually every chronic illness is found within the gut? Poor diet, use of antibiotics, water impurities, and antiacids set the stage for chronic digestive problems. In this video, we're gonna explore why conventional testing for many food sensitivities and the presence of pathogens leaves a lot to be undesired in terms of sensitivity. We'll also take a look at how biofilms of bacteria and yeast can be the reason for persistent infections and chronic illness. And finally, we will discuss the cause of digestive issues. Hey, but before we get into everything, I wanna tell you about a little known secret. This video is sponsored by Purium. Purium is a 25 year old manufacturing company that focuses on promoting health and wellness supplements that fills in the gaps of our nutritional plan. They provide highly quality products with nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that the body needs and that we're not getting from our regular food supply. So you can live happier and healthier all life long. Now, Perium delivers a product that can not only transform our bodies, but it can also change the way we think about our diet products altogether. They offer a line of health and wellness products from things like you know, proteins, digestive support, and a bunch of other things to help us lose weight, detoxify, and they even offer things for children. I endorse Perium products because I have found them to be super reliable and they are a resource for myself and my clients. My clients find that they 10x their energy levels, their sleep is better, and they get more mental clarity when they use Perium products. All right, let's get into it. The diet plays a major role in contributing to digestive issues like leaky gut syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, and even irritable bowel syndrome. Things like celiac disease, Crohn's, and so much more. The consumption of processed food is like psh, through the roof. And foods that are high in sugar and refined car carbohydrates really cause inflammation, which really exasperates any existing digestive issue and it increases our susceptibility to even new ones. In addition to poor diet choices, other factors like stress, exposures to toxins like medication or heavy metals, alcohol consumption and a lack of mobility and exercise can contribute to a variety of digestive issues that we live with. But a major contributor to chronic illness is the presence of biofilms. Biofilms are composed of bacteria, yeast, and they form a matrix around themselves in order to protect themselves from the environment that they live in. Now, biofilms make it very difficult for antibiotics or other medications to penetrate them, which renders them useless, the medications and the antibiotics. It renders them useless against these persistent infections that keep on happening because that biofilm is created. The biofilm forms when the organisms attach themselves to the surface inside your body, such as your intestine or your bladder wall. They produce this like sick, sticky substance that creates an impermeable barrier that prevents medication from reaching them. Well, I can understand why they're there because they think they're, they're you know, protecting the body, but really they're responsible for many cases of infections leading to chronic illnesses like IBS and Crohn's and disease. This is why we want to take an alternative and natural approach to addressing digestive issues because when we have an abundance of this toxic material and medication and antibiotics going through our system, our body starts to create this barrier and this barrier can be a disadvantage to us if we are using these things multiple times throughout the year or often throughout our lives. So there's always a serious need for a cellular reset, a cleanse, a detoxification, so we can eliminate the things that don't serve us and start absorbing the things that do serve us. 
So now we're gonna go over the five steps to correcting digestive disorders. The first one is eliminate processed foods, high in sugar and refined carbohydrates. Like this is a non-negotiable here. It is essential when it comes to healing your gut lining from damage caused by poor diet choices over years and years and years. Especially if you are on a gluten-free diet. Eat more natural sources of fiber like fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, broccoli, cifrous, you know, cauliflower. This helps promote bacterial diversity in your gut microbiome, which helps restore balance within your system, as well as reducing inflammation over time. Number two, de-stress. Just take a moment. Stress is one of the biggest contributors to chronic illness. So taking steps such as meditation or yoga can really help reduce stress levels. Remember, your gut is your second brain and we have to help it calm down. Number three, exercise regularly. This could be yoga, this can be walking because this can help reduce stress levels, but it can also promote better circulation throughout your whole entire body, which helps keep toxins out. Number four, improve your sleep quality. You need better sleep. Get six to eight hours of sleep per night. This helps reduce stress levels while improving your cognitive function, all the brain activity that's going on in your head. Number five, cleanse. Certain detoxifications can help restore balance within your gut microbiome, while others can promote better nutrient absorptions. For example, a cellular reset, which is a 30-day lifestyle program, does exactly that. We literally flood the body with nutrient-rich foods and rid the body of toxic load. Doesn't that sound amazing? So there's this guy, his name is Hippocrates, and I gotta say, I got a lot of respect for this guy because he's the father of medicine, and he stated that all disease begins in the gut. While this statement may seem a little extreme, it's an accurate description of how important it is to maintain a healthy digestive system. Now. Not only does your digestive system play a key role in your overall health, but it is also vital for proper immune function, hormonal function, endocrine function, and all the sorts. So why is supporting your digestive system so important? Well, here's some tips on how to do it and why it's so important. First of all, let's talk about the role of the gut in its overall health. Our digestive system plays an essential role in both our physical and our mental health. Many vitamins and minerals are absorbed through the walls of our digestive tract and our intestines to be used as energy, or sometimes even stored away for later use. But the bacteria that lives in our gut, well, it's designed to help us produce things like serotonin, which helps regulate our mood and keeps depression at bay. Therefore, if you are dealing with these types of challenges and chronic illnesses that are attributing to depression, you should be taking care of your gut. And this should be a priority if you wanna make progress towards improving your health. Unfortunately, many people have unknowingly damaged their digestive system due to their lifestyle habits and the environmental factors that they live in, such as using copious amounts of antibiotics or eating copious amounts of conventional, conventional animal consumption meat that has been tainted with hormones. Now, we now know through research that the most chronic illnesses occur due to leaky gut syndrome, which is caused by inflammation from these factors mentioned above. Now, to combat this issue, and to support your digestive tract and to have a healthy gut, here are some things that you can do. For example, you can eat probiotic rich foods like kefirs and plant-based yogurts. Have kimchi, stay away from processed foods, avoid sugars as much as possible and use more of a natural resource of sweet, sweeter things. Consume plenty of fiber, about 25 to 35 grams per day. Drink lots of water throughout the day to flush out all those toxins and to create a healthy way of getting nutrition to the rest of your body. So let me tell you something. The growing interest in gut health has led to a proliferation of gut microbiome testing kits with promises of personalized health insights and the ability to optimize our diets for a better digestion and overall wellness. But experts in the field caution against them. 
The human gut microbiome consists of trillions of microorganisms, including bacteria, viruses, fungus, and protozoa that live in our gastrointestinal tract. And over the years, the interest in these microscopic inhabitants have grown due to their potential impact on various aspects of our health. From digestion to metabolism to mood and even cardiovascular health. So, as a result, numerous companies have begun to offer tests that analyze a person's gut microbiome, promising personalized dietary advice and insight into how to achieve optimal health. Well, Despite these enticing claims, Dr. Ravia De La Tour, a gastroenterologist and an assistant professor of medicine at NYU Lagoon Health, argues that these tests may not be as groundbreaking as they appear. Now, she points out that even the best funded researchers at top academic institutions are not yet able to make definitive connections between specific microbiomes and health outcomes. But the gut microbiome is incredibly complex and it is constantly changing, making it challenging to draw accurate conclusions from a single sample. So if gut microbiome testing isn't the answer, then what steps can we take to improve our gut health? Well, the good news is that there are several accessible and affordable ways to promote a healthier gut without spending money on potentially unreliable tests or, you know, things that we really don't need. One key factor is diet. Consuming a diverse range of fruits and vegetables, whole grains that are organic and fermented foods that can help foster and diverse a healthy gut microbiome. You know, working with a holistic Chinese medicine practitioner also helps. Limiting the processed foods that are high in sugar um, and also can make a positive difference. Another important aspect of gut health is stress management. So these are two things. Now, while personalized health recommendations from gut microbiome testing may be enticing, Instead of spending money on potentially unreliable tests, focusing on maintaining a diverse and balanced diet, manage your stress and engage with a holistic integrator practitioner who really understands these factors from a holistic standpoint. Someone who can use muscle testing, tongue and facial diagnosis when needed because they can be proven to you know, provide a more beneficial outlook in the quest for a healthy gut. Ultimately, the key to optimal gut health may lie less in commercial testing and more in mindful and dedication to a healthier lifestyle, eating organic foods, and valuing your nutrition and lifestyle to the highest degree. Hey, my name is Dr. Antonika, and I hope that you like the contents in this video with years and years of research and being in clinical practice on world-class cruise ships across the world, I've seen a lot of cases and experimented with lots of different ways to heal the gut, decrease inflammation, chronic pain, depression, anxiety, and I have found the thing that has worked for most of my patients and clients. And so if you like the contents in this video, please give me a thumbs up down in the comments or let me know what your thoughts are. I'd really like to know how I can support you or you know how this information is contrary to what you've heard or seen before. Thanks for watching and please take time out to share this with somebody who might need to hear this information and who would value this information and is looking for a holistic practitioner to help them get to the root cause of their disease. Have a great day.